Good evening and welcome to Lisa Women Live on Loaded TV with Lily Spindle here again. Yeah. I have got some very gorgeous girls here with me today, so uh, I'm not going to hang about. Let's meet our lovely Lisa Women. First of all, we've got Steph. Hello. Noise for Steph, please. <laughs> You're looking I'm absolutely good, thank gorgeous. You. Thank you very much. Steph's red dress, lady in red. Um, are you looking forward to the show? I am, yes. Have I've been you waiting. Done, have you done Lisa Women before? I have, yeah. It was one of the pre recorded shows, though. Ah, we'll have way so, more fun. Yeah. The real one. Can't wait to talk to you. We've also got the lovely Charlene. Hello. Now, Charlene, mm -hmm. we've been talking wrestling, haven't mm. we? Because you're, you, you're going to be doing. I do a column for a magazine, a so wrestling one. She's a double R bastard, basically. Oh, yeah, I'm a black belt. Be careful, darling. I got a green belt, so oh. now I'm just embarrassed because uh, <laughs> you're a black belt. But we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll mm. talk about this because we've got some scoop. Well, you might have some scoop on Hulk Hogan. Um, Possibly? Not yet. Mm. Okay. We'll Maybe some other things, though. Oh, brilliant. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and our third lovely Lisa woman is Gracie. Nice How are you feeling, Gracie? I'm fine, yeah, I'm good. Looking forward to the show. I'm good. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Can't wait. <laughs> yes. Can't wait to go. Well, without further ado, let's get started with the show. So basically, my first uh, topic to talk about, girls, this is actually, um, we're talking social networking. Which brings me on to you guys at home. If you're enjoying the show, if you're agreeing, if you're disagreeing with um, what I say, what the girls say, you can get involved on Twitter if you're on Twitter, um, and just hashtag Lisa Women, and we'll get some someone will write down, and I can basically you can interact with us. The magic of television, it's great, isn't it? So. Firstly, ladies, Facebook jealousy. So apparently there's oh. been some stuff. Oh, oh. Gracie. <laughs> Sounds like you know a lot about this. Um, not Facebook jealousy, but Facebook problems. Yes. Problems, like mm. hashtag Twitter problems. It's the relationship wrecker. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, my goodness. See, I'm kind of, I think if it's, so many people put so much out there. And even I kind of look at things and I'm like, don't tell people that. But do you know what? I'm the worst. I was the worst for it when I was younger. I, I look at younger people now and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, no. And then I think back and I'm like, oh, I was that. I, I used to do it. But that's 100%. kind of forgivable, isn't it? Once you're kind of past the age of, what do we think, around kind of your mid-twenties, you think, don't put everything on Facebook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You learn from it, don't you? You make a mistake and then you think, oh, crap. Well, you just there, don't do it again, ideally. Mm, well, there's been quite initially. a lot in the press today about the fact that apparently looking at Facebook particularly apparently is making people depressed because they're getting em they're getting envious of, of what people are posting and, and Even people's I do lives. Sometimes. Do you? Yeah. Do you sometimes have you got like a particular friend or a particular person that you're like, they're always doing something really good? Yeah, well, <laughs> just in general, if someone's out shopping and I'm stuck at work, I'm like, to be bitch. fair though, Steph, I see I see Steph's Instagram and I see your shoes and I'm like, bitch. Because <laughs> yeah. I want them and I can't but get that's them. What it's for though, isn't it? It's kind of just for going like, you know, yeah. this, is, this is what I'm up to, these are my new shoes. And then you get some people that literally are kind of I don't want to put myself in it but people will know what I'm talking about. But people who kind of will go on, like, I think it's really wrong that people will go on social media and moan about their other halves. That's mm. wrong, yeah. You shouldn't air your laundry in public. No. No, it's wrong. I don't like that at all. Way too much Keep information. It to yeah. And the other thing I think, I'm like, why would you want everyone mm. to know that you're not very happy? Mm. Or no. that you've just been dumped. Yeah. And it is bloody depressing, isn't it? Having to read about someone going through that. You don't want to go, oh. I know. It's like, give me that. some happy things. I think yeah. a lot of it's attention seeking as well. It is attention Especially seeking. from, a lot of girls are guilty for it. Yeah, girls are the worst. Mm. The Girl, absolute worst. I, I find that girls tend to moan way more and boys retweet or link yeah. in um, like rubbish jokes sorry boys but you do mm. like you know you get those things you know you get like the funny card things the e-cards oh yeah and yeah. it's like you know 10 a day <laughs> it's not funny anymore no it's <laughs> not but so if you girls had to are you all on are you on twitter and facebook yes. yeah. Everyone's Twitter. on Twitter and Facebook. I keep Facebook for family and people same I actually same know. Same as mine. Because mm -hmm. well, it's a bit more personal, isn't I it? I think yeah. so, yeah. Yeah, definitely. My so Facebook's under total hidden name. No one knows it. Yeah. 
It's under like a name of flower. That's the way, it, surely that's kind of what it's for. I find mm. it very weird. Um, I don't have like private Facebook, but I find it really weird when people have like thousands of Facebook friends yes. and it's not a fan not site or... Yeah. They yeah. yeah. don't know those people. Well, because Very I think strange. you, surely if you don't know those people and they know all that about your mm. life, it's a little bit weird. Very weird. Mm. So if you had to live without, if you had to choose Twitter or Facebook, what would you rather have? I'd probably keep Twitter because yeah. I use it for work. That's really difficult. I'll definitely go with Twitter. Yeah. I mean, you have to go on there and add people on Facebook and everything. People moan more on Facebook, I find, as well. I think you should only moan when it's bloody appropriate, and you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And I'm serious, you really should. And yeah. also, people go on there more, and they put, had a cup of tea, had a bagel. Yeah. It's like, why are you chatting <laughs> that? I don't really want to know what you're doing. I don't want to know that you just had a cup of tea. Tell me something exciting, not fucking depressing, but, you know? I get a bit, now, I'm, this is probably going to upset some of my friends, but I, a lot of, a lot of my friends that kind of say, oh, I've had no sleep because my baby's been up. I'm like, I don't mm. need to know that. But then no. I think, well, I haven't experienced that. And mm. probably if you've been up on your own since three o'clock in the morning, you probably need to talk to somebody. <laughs> so maybe I'm yeah. not being as sympathetic as I should be. But I quite like, I like, I am on Twitter and I quite like that you just get, it's a really good way of just kind of knowing what's going on. Yeah. Mm. It's just there. It's all, it's, it's very kind of easily mm. digested and then you're on to the next thing. Whereas mm. I would imagine that Facebook's a bit more personal. People can comment on your statuses on Facebook. Mm. It's totally yeah. different. You can write in it, you can write a comment on Twitter and people can reply back, but you don't have to, no one has to see that. That's just for you yeah. to see. Mm. And do you feel on your Facebook, that you have to kind of reply to people more. Yes. You have so to. It's a bit well, ruder to ignore I don't have fun Facebook. Facebook anymore because it, it wound me up. People post on my wall constantly all trash. And yeah. then, so I keep my Facebook from family and stuff. And then my Twitter is for everyone. Mm. So. That's, and that's, I think it, because I think everyone, a, any kind of public figure or, or girls that kind of do what we do, like there are so many, like I love Twitter. I think it's really good fun. Um, but you do get like, you know, you get a bit of crap oh, get weird, off people. Yeah. So are you a blocker or, or an ignorer? Blocker. I blocker. straight there, block. It both really, it's been so much like pissed me off. Yeah. yeah. I, I wish you could see your block list. Oh, Mine would be like... Might be horrendous, it'd be ridiculous. But it's kind of, it's that thing, isn't it, that I, I'm, I get some and I think, do you know what, I'm just going to ignore it because I'm not even going to... Entertain mm. them. Yeah, mm. because it's kind of like they've then, even if you're blocking them, they've kind of got to you. Occasionally, I like a rant with them. I like an argu good argument with them, though. That's an entertainment. And, you know and then you retweeting all your fans yeah. get involved, and they're like, yeah, Gracie, <laughs> I'm glad what you just said. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, retweet. See, I love reading. Oh, we've got some. Ah, oh, people of Twitter. <laughs> Woo! Got involved because we're talking about oh. you. So, um,. One guy has tweeted in to say that he hates people, philosophizing, I can't even say it, I can't say philosophizing, I can't, it's one of those words I just can't say, thanks Ash, thanks for that, uh, on Twitter, I hate it, I hate people trying to come out with profound, on, on social network, posting these Long. profound, inspiring things, and you just can't, and it's normally <laughs> the people. You? Is that you? Is that you? <laughs> that was me. But is it about fitness? Yes. But that It's to motivate people. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing, that's, that's fine. That's thing, yeah. That's fine, because that's part of you, that's part of, of, okay. of what you do. I do go a little bit too it deep depends. sometimes, I think, oh, it's a bit too deep for me, but I still do it anyway. It depends how Someone will appreciate it. it. It annoys me when not all people the time. have blatantly copied and pasted them from someone else. Yes, they've yeah. just sat Age. on the internet and trolled. Mm. Mm. It depends how often you do it. Occasionally I'll think of something, usually my philosophy on something or, or whatever is usually a bit weird. Right. So it's not really anything that anybody else has heard. I don't do it all the yeah. time. It's just occasionally. Mm -hmm. But I like a little bit of philosophy See, I, on Twitter. I don't mind, like, if it's someone like Charlotte, who, if, if it's a kind of motivational, mm. like I've got um, friends who are, who, who are boxers and things like that, and, and I kind of think, well, that's in keeping. It's when people, you know, like those people who you know, who are kind of not very spiritual people, not very, and you kind of think, mm. you've literally, like you said, you've cut and pasted yeah. that. 
and it's just <laughs> like it's it's a bit patronizing it is yeah but then five minutes later they'll post another one mm. and it's like so just why? contradict it. themselves <laughs> yeah, yeah. They contradict Massively. themselves and they never practice what they preach it's mm -hmm. always something very different to watch they that's actually what, believe like, that's in what that's what annoys when, yeah, me you get one and you yeah. think that's so the opposite of the person that I know mm. who has yeah totally put that well, absolute wankers <laughs> <laughs> Say it like it is, Grace. No, I'd have to agree. I'd have to agree with our anonymous um, man about the philosophy on Facebook and Why Twitter. is he anonymous for? Who are you? I don't you? know. I don't know. Should we, we give him a name? name. Find yeah, a what name. should we call him? Mr. Mm. Guy. <laughs> Mr. Philosophy <laughs> Man. But um, okay. is there anyone who's Twitter, like either family, celebrity, anyone's Twitter? Or Facebook, who you, you couldn't live without, who you love reading. I love Ricky Gervais's tweets. Oh, he's hilarious. I love him. Oh, he's brilliant. Is funny. Mm. He's my best friend in like another universe. We're best friends. <laughs> um, is there anyone that you look that every day you kind of look forward to seeing um, their tweets or I'll be honest with you, I don't often go through the Twitter feeds. It's usually for me to update. Yeah. And that's it really. Um, but yeah, I do. I do actually find a Ricky Gervais. Steph isn't reading any of them. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> guys. Don't make a joke. She won't read them. <laughs> How about you, Charlene? Anyone that you kind of look I've got forward loads. to? I've got Who loads are you on Twitter stalking? There, really? All the wrestlers, because they're like. <laughs> who's your? Who's who's like the top? At oh, the I've, got, I've got loads female, of those at the moment. Top female wrestler of the moment. Um, oh, they're all they're all leaving now. They're, oh, really? they're getting out the old and with the new at the moment. So, all being replaced. Ah, so, so is that, all, is all that British, British or American, American or is that? Ah, who's your all-time favourite? Uh, male or female? Whatever you. Like. I like The Rock. He does that eyebrow thing, doesn't he? I quite oh, like him. Dwayne Johnson. Yes, yeah. yeah, he is awesome. He's really good, but I can't do that thing. I just looks really stupid if I even attempt it. Oh, I did we... meet him once, though. I really embarrassed myself. Charlene, we've got a tweet for you. Oh no. Oh, Matthew. Charlene is the most beautiful girl in the world, and that oh. is from. Blame Matt. <laughs> we know who that is. We know who that is. Yes. Did you pay him? Oh, no. <laughs> we knew Matthew would tweet. Yeah, we thought he would. Yeah, he's lovely. He's um, oh. he's been watching me for years. Oh, yeah. Make sure it's beautiful. Oh, thank I you. I wouldn't Matthew. argue with you, Matt. I wouldn't argue. Um, Gracie, anyone who you love. I, it's, you, I know it sounds awful, but we do kind of stalk each other on Twitter, don't we? So, um, yeah. yeah is there do you anyone? know what? I, I don't stalk anyone in particular. People's tweets that I like are more people that are my friends. Caitlin Winters, mm. glam model. I love Caitlin's yeah. tweets. So funny. I love She's them. unbelievable. I have to actually look through the tweets, and I'm like, wow. Also, my other friend, um, Georgie. She's Georgie Darby. She's funny oh, as hell. She's, she's minging, but she's so funny. <laughs> and she's bit, I've got a fr my friend Jamie does that. He is oh. absolute Phil. He's mm. I love she's really cool. She's it's brilliant. Yeah. She's fun. So Caitlin and Georgie. Um, and Caitlin's. Caitlin Beth, says things that you kind Beth of want to say. is mm. funny as well. She's quite a new up-and-coming glam model. She's rich. Really, she's, oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Beth. She's yeah. very, very funny. And then I'm on Instagram and I stalk loads of people. Oh, I <laughs> yeah. Instagram stalk. I love it. All the See, time. I, kind of, I Instagram I, stalk, I stalked you the other day. I, was like, I stalk you all the oh, time. on there. I can't get my head around. You know, I set up my stalk account, but I'm yet to like go live and tell yeah. people it's about so it. Good. Because I just think that I don't put enough interesting things on there. I've only just got my head around Twitter. I can't do that Lucy, as well. Lucy, you just need your boobs on there and you'll get <laughs> a thousand <laughs> likes. Brilliant. I'll that's do it. That's the thing. Is that that thing. People want boobs. And my, I'm like, oh, this is my food. Yeah, no, my that's dog. what Caitlin's like. Here's my dog. Yeah. yeah. Here's, here's my dog in a here's hat. Here's my dog again. Yeah. Here's my dog <laughs> in the snow. Yeah. Here's, here's my shoes. dog before dinner. Here's my dog after dinner. <laughs> oh, well, the girl, girl, girls like food and dog and cat tweets. Mm. Um, well, I think, yeah, we'd, be, we'd all be quite sad if, if Twitter was taken away. Uh, mm. Yeah. We are all a little bit live. obsessed, though. I think get rid of a lot of stress as well at the same time, though. What if you got rid of it? Yeah. I think it's uh, the thing I, I like about it is you can. Yeah, no, we yeah. we all get a bit. But do you know what? How sad have you got to be to sit and abuse people that you don't know mm -hmm. on social networking? Losers. Those people yeah. have a lot of time losers. On losers. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, oh, we're still on. We're, well, this is sort of to do with what we were just talking about. So this is about internet sex. Do you think, leading on from the whole Facebook and Twitter thing, do you think that the internet has made it easier for people to cheat, or oh, do you think it's yes. kind of going Massively. on before? Yeah, very easy because it's just there, isn't it? 
you can very easily just meet up with someone and just mm -hmm. see, see I've five got, o'clock or something. I've got a friend who, who um, he hates any sort of social networking and, and says that Facebook is just for people to meet up with people mm -hmm. that My they wanted like to that. sleep with when they were younger. <laughs> <laughs> Do we agree? <laughs> Oh, I went to school with her. I wonder what she looks like now. Yeah, <laughs> like, it, it, I, I quite like it, it. It's made it so easy for you to kind of find that's, things. Yeah. See, that's what I like out. about Twitter. You can follow who you can follow, yeah. but if you don't follow anybody, they can't inbox you. It's got to be public. Yeah, there's always some way you can find it. Whereas Facebook's sneaky. You can poke someone. You can inbox I need a someone. Facebook. I like the sound <laughs> of this. Do you know what I mean? And it's just to me, it's just a little bit. Mm. But. We've got to go to a break, but I'm going to keep on talking to Gracie about Facebook because I like sneaky. I might <laughs> have to get on Facebook. <laughs> and we're going to drink more wine. <laughs> but on Facebook, don't you have to? Uh, don't you have to accept? But they can message you as and well without you. even being your friend. They can, they? That. They can post yes. Welcome back to Lucy Women Live with me, Lucy Pinder, and the lovely Steph, Charlene, and Gracie we've got tonight. So we've been yabbering away. Uh, we've had a couple of phone calls, so let's see what you guys at home want to chat about. Oh, I'm excited. Hi, it's Tash from Manchester. I was just wondering what your girls turn, turn on and turns off for for guys. All right, cheers. Bye. So basically, Tash wants to know what us girls find ter a turn on and turn offs in guys. So I'll go first. Um, I like a man who's confident but not cocky. Mm. I love a silver fox and a bit of stubble. Ooh. Mm. Stubble does it for me. I like very dark guys as well. Dark stubble. So who would your who would your kind of who's your celebrity crush? Gerard Butler. Mm. Oh, he's he's nice I again. Love him. He's nice again. He's he went through a bit of a oh, yeah. what's happened to Gerard? He's a bit podgy. Bless him. A bit of timber on, but no. He's but put he's got the silver fox thing going on. He's yeah, he's going a bit grey now. Yeah. He's getting sexier as he gets older. I love that. Don't buy if you're going grey. Don't buy just for men. If you see the just for men advert, <laughs> like oh, they'll no longer be grey men. It's like women love a bit of grey. Do you like a silver fox? I hate it when men dye their hair. I do. It never it's looks awful. good. No, I really don't like. It just looks really fake, doesn't mm. it? So that's one of your turn offs. Yeah. What's a turn mm. on? I like geeky kind of blokes. I like men that make me laugh. Geek chic. Yeah, I love all that. I like Cole Pinkerton. Oh, love I think he's him. lovely. I just want to rub his little head. Did you see, do you know what? This is gonna, <laughs> this is not really what we're supposed to be talking about. But did you see on the last um, series of An Idiot Abroad when he met the conjoined twins in India? Yes. And he was lovely. Yeah, he was he lovely. He was lovely. gorgeous with them. And everyone was going, oh no, you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said this. And I thought, do you know what? He spoke to them and had a giggle with them as he would with anyone else. And everyone else was going, oh, you shouldn't have done that. And he was like, I was just talking to them how I would anyone else. And they really enjoy, I love him. He's hilarious. It was great, wasn't it, though? Because he got up there and sat with them and everything, yeah. didn't he? I thought it was so sweet. Oh, I love him. I just like anybody that makes me laugh. That's a turn on. And that is the bum. Bum. Oh, yeah. oh I've got to have a nice and bum. And men's backs. Yeah, I like, I like bum and shoulders. Bum and yeah. shoulders Holes. and Carl Pilkington. Yeah. <laughs> that's really random, isn't it? <laughs> no, I think that's quite... I think that's... There's a hmm. dream man in there. How about you, Gracie? Do you know what? I don't really have a specific type, but my the main man who is like whoa to me. Do you know Matthew McConaughey is the actor? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And he's he's tall, quite quite big, blonde, blue eyes. But yeah. I would never think that's my type at all. But he's quite tanned. But I just like. I like the confidence thing as well. Yeah. I think every woman likes that, but funny. Yeah. Like, a, a, a got to be funny. Who, who, who know, like, it, it, you don't have to be loud and shouty, but just a guy who kind of knows his own mind, yeah. who... Um, Someone who keeps you on your toes as well. I yes. hate guys who are like, oh, yes, I'll do this, I'll do that, Grace, blah, blah. Oh. I yes. hate it, no. Mm. Like, terrible. Like, you just, oh, no, that's don't terrible. don't laid on a plate for you. No, no but I think that men are like that with women. Like, they think the exact same. They don't want Yes, we girl, we were know. talking about it. One of the Lisa women's uh, we did, and and Kate was on. Um, what's Kate's second name? Blonde, Blonde Kate. Yeah. Banks. Yes. Kate, Katie Banks said, oh, I, I, I really like to wear the trousers, and I was like, no, I don't want to wear the trousers. Oh, I don't want to wear the trousers. Do you? You, oh, had, a, you had a face yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Charlene wears trousers. <laughs> Steph, I think you'd wear trousers too. I'm Do you? I, I'm a 50-50. 
So quite an even... Yeah, You're I'm cancerian like me, though. Yes. Mm. But I was so going to say before, me and you have got a quite a weird taste in men, I think. Yeah, yeah. We've always we're gone for... We're pretty similar, me mm. and Stefan. We're cancerians as well, so we like... Like, sometimes I'm so needy. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, I'm sorry I'm being needy, but, but I just you need, need you someone right now. To go, when you're like that, do you, do you need someone to go, Gracie, sort yourself out? Yes, I do. Yeah, a little bit, but then but I gently. need... Yeah, yeah, gently. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm emotional and I'm like, ah, I start crying at anything. Really? I, yeah, I watch TV program and I start the crying. The cancerians, are Cancerians are really sensitive <laughs> people, but we're very hard on the outside. We're like, it's just like a crab. Mm -hmm. I like a crab. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. We like crabs. We are. What is that? I'm Sagittarius. What? I think... Is that September? When's that? September? Uh, December. December. Oh, Sagittarius. I know a lot about Sagittarius men. I know you're very, like, ooh, like... All like I ever remember people. from when I was little and, like, read about stuff is that apparently Sagittarians are really good friends with very loyal which I think you're is very true. free spirits mm -hmm. you're very free spirits you like to be free spirits that like you like to be the people that yeah the people that are there in the limelight you kind of you but it's because you're quite leader you're quite a good leader I'm a leader <laughs> I'm a leader <laughs> what are you what Charlie? Are you? I don't really know much about star signs I'm a big wet fish I'm a Pisces oh I see yeah. Gracie what's Pisces, Pisces? Cancerian and Pisces get on the best they're the best oh. matched mm-hmm that's fine. But do you know what, Lucy? My two ex boyfriends were your star sign. Were they? Mm -hmm. Were they typical Sagittarius? Or? They were like men, Sagittarius. Okay. They were like. Is that bad? For Cancerians, very bad. Oh, no. Mm. But for women, well, that, I don't know. Yeah, because I think, I'm sure when I was little and one of my best friends was Cancer and we read somewhere and we're like, look, we're meant to be because yeah, we're Yeah, maybe that's Sagittarius. friends. But, but not lovers. We've got a few more tweets. So we've got Big Bad Bob 101 asks, what are the top three qualities of your ideal man? So we'll, if we start with Gracie. Qualities. Um, top I like three. Ambition. Yes. I like a man with who strives for things, who wants um, like ambition and wants to do well. Someone yeah. who I can look at and be like, yes. I totally agree. And I sometimes think, you know, like when you, like quite a lot of young guys are like, oh, you know, girls just want a man with money, blah, blah. And it's like, it's no. nothing to do with money. It's to, it's it's to, to do, do with drive. Fact. Yeah. You Security. can, yeah. Security. It's to do with it's the fact that when I have your baby, I want you to look after me and the baby. And don't you like, think it's like whether you're, whether you're like a, a director of a company or you're a dustbin man, it's just if you're with a dustbin as as man, someone who either. gets up, mm -hmm. who goes and, and work, who's a man who gets up, goes to work, who's a man's man, a, a hunter-gatherer. We like hunter-gatherers. That's gatherers. what yeah. I mean, caveman times. Yes. Yeah. That's what it goes back to. I, I'm a cavewoman right now. Yeah. You're my I'm a cave caveman. Woman. No, you're a man. <laughs> I can be your caveman. Thank you are you. going out and you're getting the biggest bit of meat for me. Yeah. Right now in the but cave. Do, do you think it's quite difficult for men nowadays? That, yeah. You know, there was that whole kind of all the metrosexual. Like, are you, I'm, I'm not really one for the metrosexual. No, if I walked so in on my boyfriend fake tanning, I, there'd be a problem. Mm. Oh, I'm not being mm -hmm. funny. A man should do three things. Shit, shower, shave, go out the door. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't stand guys that have more cosmetics than me. I hate it. No. My, my fake tan, that's my moisturiser. Leave my T-zone cream alone and just don't touch any of it. It's mine. No, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I hate mind, that. Like, I don't mind a bit of moisturiser. That's fine. Yeah. That's about it. it. Fake, tans, fake tan's really bad, but a dab isn't bad. A dab oh. of fake tan isn't bad. Because I'd rather my, I'd rather have a bit of fake it tan and go on the sunbed and... Yeah. And, but the thing is, we're, we're saying this, I've got like, my, my friend Rian Sugden, who was on um, Big Brother, I remember having this conversation with her and she was like, no, I love, I love a man that puts fake tan on. So it shows, so different, there's someone it? for everyone. But yeah. so your top three is ambition, ambition, caveman. Yeah, it's all that. And funny, I, I like a guy who's yeah. he's got to be funny and loving. Like, I just like someone who's loving. Yeah. And then that's perfect for me. Charlene. Mm. Carl Pilkington Caveman. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you've said most of them already, but if I was to pick some different ones, I mean, obviously it's got to be a sense of humour as well. It's mm. got to make me laugh, because I can't to. stand someone that's as boring as shit. Because that really, I just can't do it. I can't sit next to someone that's just going to sit there and go, Oh, wow. And don't you love when you're with someone and you find them hilarious, and yeah. you think if anyone else could hear us, they wouldn't think this was funny. Yes. But yeah. you think it's, it's a joke between hysterical. you. Yeah. As as I love each that. Other. Yeah. 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 I love that. Yeah. Yeah, and I like a guy that's um, supportive in everything that I do as well. But he's got to have the, the drive and ambition as yeah. well, obviously, mm -hmm. as well. Um, 
And yeah, it's also got to let me wear my trousers, as you can see. Because <laughs> yeah. okay, so I, I can be a bit of a bitch, I'm not going to deny it, because I am very ambitious and I am very independent. Yeah. And that's probably one of my bad qualities, because I'm very independent. I have to do everything myself. Yeah. Because I believe that if you can't rely on others, rely on yourself, you get exactly. it done, you get it done so right. So someone yeah. that's kind of secure enough to give you some space, yeah. That's mm. but yeah, maybe exactly kind of tell you when you're a little bit out of yes. line. But how long have I known you now? Like three years? Mm. I mean, I've known you both oh, for like yeah. three or four years. We've known each other for years, yeah. Really? And yeah. Well, I'm new to, well, I'm new to <laughs> Steph. Yeah. I've, no, I've known Charlene for years. Oh, Charlene, yeah, you're, a, I, like, I look up to you as like for advice. I'm like, <laughs> whatever Strong, Charlene says woman. is right and nobody else is <laughs> right but Charlene. <laughs> I'm like you're mom. never wrong. <laughs> What I say I goes. So like true though. At my IBS problems. I was like, Charlene, <laughs> what's going on? Why am I eating wrong? <laughs> what's going on with my cola? Oh. <laughs> Honestly, it was bad. So oh, Charlene, belly was like, so Charlene, you're going to become like the agony aunt for okay. the glamour industry. I'm you're going to have me going, girl. what am I doing? But, 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 <laughs> no, but at the same time, you're very like sleek and sexy, aren't you? <laughs> Steph, what are your three top kind um, of Well, like ideals. the other girls have said, you know, I love a sense of humour. Yeah. Someone that's funny, that is really, really important. As long as, you know, like you were saying, you two find something funny yeah. and you can find something to talk about, then, yeah, that's really important. And charisma. Yeah. I love someone that's charismatic, that lights up the room. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, you know, caveman, mm. manly. But I'm gonna go and get that meat. Bit of yeah, <laughs> I'm trying now. I'll tell you what, this is meat. This is leaking your meat. Another quality, a big feet. <laughs> yes. Talking about meat, huh? Big shoes. Yeah. Big shoes. Big. Charlene's after big, uh, big shoes <laughs> and a uh, caveman. It, you know, it, it helps. It helps. It helps. It helps. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's every not lie. little yeah. helps. But <laughs> there is some, and there is someone to fit everyone. <laughs> So don't anyone yeah, out there go worrying. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> yeah. percent. I think I love how how we've we've um, yeah we want a caveman, <laughs> a good sense of humour, and big feet. <laughs> um, okay, we'll move on. Another Twitter question. Um, okay, so this guy says the girl that he's seeing is moving up north. I take it that you're down south. Uh, I really like her, but I don't know if a long distance relationship will work. What shall I do? Has anyone had a long distance relationship? I did. Did it not work? No. Did me. <laughs> it, well, it did, but it, it lasted about two years. How long was the dis how, how far was the distance? How long? Sorry. Well, <laughs> no, I was. Sorry. I'm. <laughs> Lucy, I was I'm in the army. I'm thinking the exact same thing in my head right now. <laughs> distance between you. How? I was How in Derby, was he was in Buckinghamshire. Right, so it's quite, it's like the other but, end of the country. But, yeah, um, I mean, I was working in London at the time, which was very convenient, but, yeah, because I was away from him for quite a long time, you know, maybe four or five days at a time. He what, did, did end up like cheating that? on me. Did he? You remember my ex-boyfriend. Do I? When we were working at the other place. <laughs> oh, oh God! Yeah, yeah. Did you, <laughs> I don't. I didn't. Know, I remember you saying, but it's so long ago. So because you were away for what five days, he couldn't go with that. Yeah. The thing. Do you think it was the distance, or do you think I it was think the man? Maybe he was no, just a bit Steph, of an arsehole. He was the, no, he was Steph, the wrong man. I think he was an arsehole. Wanker. There yeah. we go. Said it again. And also, a, wa a wet wanker. <laughs> <laughs> your job as well. Your, our job is hard for men to deal with. Oh, I can yeah. totally yeah. agree with that. And if you're away from them and you're doing stuff, that they all think, that, think that's in their the thing, heads. Isn't it? I think with any with with any relationship, you have to have. I don't. I don't agree. Like I think the worst thing anyone can ever say about a partner is, I trust them 100%. Mm. It's like you can't trust anyone no. 100%, no, but never. you respect each other because yes. you can't mm. never have a boyfriend or no. never have a girlfriend in case something happens. Mm. But it's that thing about respect and, and and with our jobs, it's someone to kind of go. Like I'd be my my boyfriend's always been fucked, but you know I was with him from the age of 16, so mm. he knew me before I was modelling and grew up with me. And everyone kind of it used to really annoy him when people used to say, "Oh, how do you feel about it?" And he was like, "If I thought I was with someone who because they were became a model was going to turn into something that she is, I wouldn't be with her." He's like, mm. "You know, I I know her. Why would it make any difference yeah. because of the job that she does?" 
people people in offices have are, are more likely to have affairs yeah, than glamour models. Yes. We're around beautiful girls all the time. Yeah. I'm thinking really... we are so less likely to cheat. I mean, I'm not saying that for all glamour models, but mm. because we work in the industry, and no offence to all you guys, you know, we know what males are like. Mm. Yeah, of course. I yes. think we are far less likely to do it yeah. because we get male attention. No, I agree. Actually, a lot of a lot of the of the glamour girl. I mean, over I've been doing this nearly like nine, ten years, mm. and and. Glamour models are some of the, like the loyalist girl. Like a lot of the girls have got long-term boyfriends. Are very loyal. Aren't really, you know. Yes, there are girls that are kind of, you know, and that's Back to the stereotype. Yeah, and it's kind of like, you know, do you know what? If you want to go out and find a footballer in a London club, good luck to you. Yeah. But you know, it's not, it's not all girls. And I think mm. we get a bit of a bad rap because some of the most famous glamour models haven't exactly made a very good name <laughs> yeah. for the industry. <laughs> Um, but you know, it's kind of each to their own. Oh but it god. is it does make me laugh when people kind of go, Oh my god, doesn't it really bother you? And my boyfriend's like, No, does it bother mm. you that your wife whinges when you walk in the door? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you wouldn't be as rude and to does it say bother that. you that you're yeah. the one picking it up off the shelf anyway. But that's like, the thing, it's like we're I mean? good it's, girls. It's we're crazy. good girls. We are. Um, we're gonna go to a break soon. Uh, but I'm going to carry on chatting to these girls about how loyal and wonderful glamour models are. <laughs> um, so what do we think he should do? Do you think he should stick it out? Yeah, I'm saying no. I'm saying no, no sorry. I, could, I, think I couldn't do it. I don't because... think it's that far. I mean, I'd travel for, it it's for the person shirt. that... It's worth a go, isn't it? It's it? worth it. Is it? Yeah. Is it? If what do you think, Lucy? I think you never know if you don't give it a try, mm. do you? So if he really likes her, try, see what happens. Yeah. If it doesn't work, know when to say, let, do you know what? It doesn't work. Mm. Don't slog out at something if you're not happy. Because if mm. something isn't right in the beginning, it ain't going to be right at the end. So, you know. Give it a go. Yeah, <laughs> I think Why so. Not? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Lisa Women Live. So we've uh, been gossiping a bit more in the break. Uh, we've had some more calls, girls. So let's see what people are saying tonight. Oh, hello. Hi, my name's Sean <laughs> oh. from West Drayton. Uh, my question is concerning my girlfriend. Basically, we've been going out for like three months now. And uh, the other night in, in bed, she, um, she farted. And she did. She did, she just laughed about it, and I sort of didn't really appreciate it. I found it a bit awkward. Um, <laughs> but obviously I think you know, double standards. If I'm I'm allowed to, I don't let her. Um, but I don't know what to. You know, should I tell her that it makes me un feel uncomfortable, or just you know brave it and turn a blind eye sort of thing? Um, let me know. Bye. <laughs> So oh. sorry, was it Sean? Sean. So basically, Sean's been seeing a girl for three months. She fasted months. in bed. But do you get over it, Sean? Get yeah. over it. Yeah. Jesus, she probably just had some cabbage yeah. for dinner. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. It depends on what kind of fart it was. Was it front or back? Your fault. Yeah, no, it's his fault. Exactly. Sweet. Hashtag Lisa Women and let us know front or back. <laughs> Where that came from. Oh, then if it's back, then three months I'd do all I could to hold it in. Yeah, but that could be his fault as well. In three months, though, I could do all I could to hold it in. But now. Do you? No, but now I'm like. That's the thing, isn't it? That Just when you've been go. with someone over a certain, mm. it, it's going to get to the point where you've got what about you? you? I had bowel problems because I, I <laughs> held it in. <laughs> this is the thing. It's I dangerous. Yes, it's dangerous. I had it's it's true. My friend had this. My friend, whose boyfriend actually, you know, like some pe some people just don't like. Wind, like I'm, mm. I'm. I grew up in quite a windy household. <laughs> so uh, wasn't yeah. that kind of disgusted by it? So no. you know, I let my boyfriend let rip, and you yeah, know, it really bothered me. We love. Obviously, you wouldn't want it in your face. No, <laughs> no. But you know, the but there are some oh, people no, when they who. Under the yeah. oh, oh, that. I don't, don't do that like at three. No. My ex said to me, he said, um, "Babe, what's that under the cover?" I said. What? He went, just have a look. <laughs> what? And he <laughs> held the cover down, oh, no. did the biggest fart ever. What is it called? A Dutch a oven? A Dutch oven, yeah. yeah. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh no, let me out. That is so but was it quite funny? It, I laughed about it after <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. But this is the thing, like, I've got, I, I've, I've met people who are really, like, I had a friend 
who used to like really think that it was disgusting when her boyfriend burped and I was kind of like it's a it, it's something that like you said it's dangerous to kind of keep it in but she would really like she was disgusted she actually was some and I was like though. some people are kind of OCD ish about it yeah yeah, no, I, well, I've had problems, I, IBS problems. From holding <laughs> the wind in? Is that because of a boy? Because I mean, you, were a... you know the term, going to drop the kids off yes. at the pool? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Going to drop the kids off at the pool never happened. Oh, no. So I got problems, and you, you just got to... And was that you because you look. were with a, with a boy and you didn't want to... Yeah, you can't do it. You can't say, all oh, right, I'm just going for shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Just going for a shit. See you in a minute. Give me your like, no, hand. Uh, I don't think that's it. got back. No. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a good how long had you, how long had you How long had you been with that? But I'm quite, uh, my metabolism's, metabolism's really fast and I'm kind of energetic. I'm not telling the viewers at home I shit a lot. We're talking about great fouls in this no, part of the just, show. I just, I'm just a normal person. I yeah. don't pretend like it doesn't happen. And I can go most places except trains. So oh, train, of oh, yeah. oh, train oh, toilet. <laughs> Oh, but exercise always makes you fart more. Is the it does, yeah, really? it does. Exercise makes you fart more. Definitely, what when you're doing Pilates. It does. <laughs> yeah, not very good when you're bending over. Pilates like, is the worst. You're oh. like coming out from all angles. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. did Pilates. I luckily I don't think I ever had that. No. Maybe I wasn't doing it properly. <laughs> God, we're, no, we're think, a bunch well, of. But I think trumpers. this guy, this short guy, <laughs> needs to just let it go because it's. it's a, you're in back he's embarrassing himself by even calling and asking about it but do a lot of i think a lot of guys are kind of funny about it it's, it's a bit of a double standard that obviously it's there's um, nothing that attractive about no. it but everyone you know the queen's got to do it i'm sure the queen in front mm. of philip surely the queen mm. has held cupcakes, in all of her people. heart yeah <laughs> the queen of cupcakes <laughs> I don't think he should be bothered by no it. Way. If he's no. doing it, then she can do it. Yeah. She's it's not nice. doing it anything wrong. No. And if, they, if it's the front one, she's definitely not doing it. As long as it's not a dead <laughs> be back as well, though. Yeah, yeah, at least she like, wasn't like, oh, well. Sean, get your head down here. I'm <laughs> wafting at him. Yeah, after do you know three, what? After whoever three months, the girl don't is, touch Whoever oven. the girl is, do what... Do opposite what Steph got happened to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dutch oven him. Yes. And let us know how it goes. <laughs> Call it. Right, girlies, let's talk about also the National Television Awards. I don't Elisa women, are we uh, nominated for anything? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, we are, yeah, we are. Yeah, we I'm won. Thinking. We won, we won. We just keep it on the down low. Um, <laughs> so who uh, so I, I I really I can't remember really any of the um, See, they're, they're just gone. The categories, <laughs> apart from the set, everyone really just wants to know. Are you into your soaps? Mm. That's the only one. Isn't that the one they do last? I they watch do like I still watch Hollyoaks. I'm guilty. <sighs> I still watch I it. I still watch soaps. it. Not anymore. No. Occasionally. But you know when you watch Hollyoaks, you can tell what's happened mm. in the last year from yeah, one episode. Yeah. True. They depress me. What, Hollyoaks or no, soaps, soaps in general? soaps in general, EastEnders. They're all just so depressing. I know Emmerdale, someone killed someone. There's always I someone that who's killing someone. Mm. Someone's but killing someone. Someone's having know. an affair. So if you had to, if you had to give an award for your favourite soap, which oh. one? Oh, EastEnders. Yeah. I love Cat and Alfie. I mean, they they were there yeah. and they came back. Yeah. I love them. See, I but quite like we're Northerners. I like yeah. EastEnders. Not you, you're not a Northerner, are you? No. So, what was your favourite? Mine's so, EastEnders. Is it? I love See? EastEnders. I love yeah. Alfie. I love him to bits. He's a West Ham oh, supporter. Do you? See, his character, really, his character annoys me because he's such a sap. I know, but I Anyone love who puts that. up with a woman like Kat, you deserve to be. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I like As if you'd be like, you just kick her out, kick her out, yeah, get, yeah, out, I, get I, out of my I, pub. I agree with that, but yeah. I like Alfie because I know that I could do whatever I wanted to him. And he'd just do it. So he, <laughs> I, I like to be a bit of a bitch and a bit of a dominating so kind of woman. So you could wear the trousers. I wear the trousers. Oh, I would love that. Maybe we should that. put you like for a party. Get down there, get down there. Stay, stay. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit longer. Not, not done yet. Stay. I really want. I would to absolutely love that. I want to see you in the, in the book. Oh. I'd love to be in EastEnders. I'd love to see you as a yeah. dominatrix you mistress. Love I'd love that. As a mistress in the Vic. I've got the gear. You could like, you could like, you could play Alfie off of uh, um, 
Who's What's he with now, Roxy? Roxy? Yeah. 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 You right. could steal it quick, was not it? Right, Roxy. Roxy. Senders, if you're watching. <laughs> BBC, we've got a great plot line for you. <laughs> and I'll just slot in somewhere. Um, <laughs> well, well, I, I, I'm kind around. of hoping that EastEnders wins um, that. How about the reality TV shows? Favourites? Um, Any favourites? I watched Big Brother. Oh, I liked Big Brother this year. It's How's it going? See, I've, 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 I've totally missed it. I've been totally off the radar. With I it, like I get, Spidey. I get in. Everyone's going to disagree with me, but I love no, Heidi. No, see, everyone's telling me they think they're going to win. That it'll be no. them I and love Ryland. Heidi. I think she's They are brilliant. very addictive to watch. Everyone you know loves what? to hate. That's yeah, the thing. yeah. Everyone yeah. loves to hate. Everyone loves to bitch. It's but lovely. So yeah, that's why everyone Heidi, loves them. Heidi has this nice personality about her. She, even though she can come across very kind of hidden behind mm. her husband, mm. I think she's sometimes on her own. She's very witty and mm. she's kind of she's really. I really like her. I remember in that really I do. watched a bit of The Hills when they were younger, and their dynamic is a bit odd, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's, it's obviously they're still strange. together, but it's a bit you wouldn't strange. put them together. No. It's strange how they're always attached. Obviously, we've got we wanted to vote Lacey to win. Obviously, I know, I know. And Lacey, but Lacey was really did well, good in it. didn't she? She, she, she was cute in it. She was nice, but mm. the thing the thing is, she just there's so many big characters in there that mm. she just didn't well, stand the, out. The thing is, it's like I think we, me and Nicola were talking about how normally you get a kind of you get labelled, if you're a glamour model, everyone either yeah. thinks you're boring or you're a bitch. There's yeah. kind of no in-between. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I think she, uh, everyone's told me that she's done really well. She looked gorgeous. Yeah, she looked yeah. stunning. She looked beautiful. Who's your sex lovely. girl? I don't like her at all. Claire. Who? I'm, is it Claire from Steph. She, I think she is a bit of a bitch. Mm. I don't think she was a bitch. I think she's very... Is she gone now? I think she's very honest. She kind of... She looks I don't think she's there. honest. I think she's... Oh, really? She looks down. Oh, oh no, I didn't, I didn't like her. Like, I didn't have a very good feeling about Not her. Not very warm. Mm. Not at all. Not so at who, who, all. Who, no. who's left? Who do we want to win? Um, who do we hope goes? I don't know who left. Who left recently? Surely the final is soon. Is that this still in, mm. aren't they? I, I, want, I, want I want Heidi and Spencer to win. Million percent. Yeah. Even though they're American, I should be it's going right. to win. <laughs> yeah, right, I, I, I think Ryland or Neil. Do you think he'll win? Ryland's quite oh, cool. Oh, Razor Roger. Mm. You know Razor, don't you? Yeah, I've done some charity events with him. I think it's lovely. You know, know his girlfriend's very well as well. So, yeah. yeah. We went to, uh, me and Michelle Marsh went to, oh God, it was either Bosnia or Kosovo with Razor. And he was hysterical, mm. telling us like football stories and he's he's he, he he's you what you see is what you get isn't it he's, yes there's no kind of mm. Do you is he doing okay is he well. doing okay on big brother i think he is yeah Do you remember when he stepped in at spencer yes kind of like Ugh. That was kind of that's him. that was kind of good. I liked yeah, it. Yeah, but that's him as well. I want to see more of that. I want to see more of the aggression. But they told him off. Yeah, they they don't really do this. Don't do that. Do that. I want to see some. Mm, I think he's yeah. like a big cuddly teddy bear. Yeah, he, he is so though, isn't he? He is I, I one of those. I don't think he's allowed to express himself as much as he could. No, though. I bet he's really right. Dirty bastard. Didn't they like? I read that <laughs> Ryland is allowed to leave the house for X Factor. Oh yeah, I heard that. That's not what? fair. Hang on, what? Who is Apparently, what? I read whether or not, I don't know if this is true, but I, I read that it. Rylan is allowed to leave the house, like, I, I'm not sure how often, for X Factor, for X Factor rehearsals. Oh. oh, that's not good, is oh, it? No, this is the good. thing, see, this is the thing with Big Brothers. I know we all know it is telly, mm. but like when we did it, and like Latoya Jackson had her own bedroom, and, did she? Yeah. and there was stuff, and you just think, oh, actually, this isn't really very fair. But well, then I she's thought, a Jackson, so you're I like, okay. I thought that Sp uh, Spidey, I thought that they've now, is it three nominations they've not even been up for no so it seems to me that maybe they're there to be kept there mm. well, because they would have been out like, ages you know, like ago dancing on ice with mm. getting rid of pammy first and everyone was going oh i bet itv are living and i'm like i'm not convinced that that wasn't no. always in the contract mm. i yeah. thought that was really odd it was i odd. thought it was i think, odd. The, spi I think the spidey thing is that they're making such good tv they're trying to avoid mm. them being voted out yeah. Because they're, they're all I'm, all they're I'm hearing from people is that love they lo love to hate them yes. and that they think they're going to win. Yeah. A lot of it. I really do like Heidi, though. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, 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 got, it's, it's got to be, hasn't it? Yeah. Otherwise, it's pretty... You get boring people mm. like me that are like, just... You know what? Like, you know, no, I was, because I went in and I was but like... But you know what? You didn't show your my true personality. <laughs> Oh, it was such a weird, it was just the weirdest experience. It was so uncomfortable. It was the most uncomfortable. Did you enjoy it? No, what, I really thought like I would. What was it like sleeping with you know, weird all of people? That, all of that was fine. Did it you was share just, a bed? 
No. See, I had her own bed. Action. I was nearest, like, the bathroom, which I liked. Yeah. If I could get in there quickly and get my face on. But it was just, it was, it's just an awkward to be put in a house with 11 people that you don't know. Mm. Yeah. It's just a bit weird. And when yeah. people are, like, acting up a bit, you're like, oh, this is really strange. I'm really mm. uncomfortable. I want to go home and be around normal I guess people. you've <laughs> kind of got to set your mind to something else. Yeah. You? Yeah, like going home and spending the money shopping. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we've got a Facebook message asking, do you... Do you take one lump or two? Yeah. Oh, sugar. I don't, <laughs> you sugar. You pee? I don't know. I don't get I don't get the innuendo there. No. Um, what does this mean? I don't know, Ash. I don't know what what does this mean. I have no idea. Anyway. <laughs> so we are also talking tonight about selling out. So JLS have condom com condoms? condoms. Katy Perry apparently has spot cream and Carol Smiley has period pants. Really? really? I didn't know that. Who's Carol who, who's Smiley? Who's Carol Smiley? Get smiley, Smiley, Carol oh, Smiley. Really? I know um, that phrase, but who is she? I think she... Black hair? No. She's Scottish, used to do... Uh, oh, I know who you mean. Changing rooms? No. Uh, no, not that I one. know who you mean. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but Carol she's, Smiley she was a been... topless model before yeah. she... Yeah. Really? Oh. Yeah. Really? What I want to know is who oh, would buy JLS condoms. <laughs> who would buy JLS condoms? No, you wouldn't, would you? Why? They're the really tiny ones. <laughs> and they're the really small ones. <laughs> you know, this sounds really horrible, but you know. No, I'm not going to say actually. Go on, say it. No, I'm going to say it. You can't say you're not going to say it. Anyway, Carol Smiley's period pants. I love that. A, a man's written that because there's there such a thing as period pants. How uh, did you know that? What are know. period pants? I don't know. They must be like big knickers. Like big knickers. You know the you knickers that you wear to bed giants. when you're on your period. You wouldn't, you wouldn't market them as no, these are my period, period pants. pants, would you? You'd be like these are my big knickers. These so are my do we nice, think comfortable big knickers? See. Mm -hmm. The question is, do we think that's selling out? I'd, I'd love my... Fa I think... See, I, I've been pitching this. If there are any condom companies out there who want to do this, when I saw that JLS had condoms, I was like, well, how many 13-year-old 13 13-year-old 13 girls shouldn't be having sex? Yes. And they're surely the only people that are going to buy them. And I'm like, they, we should do... Have, like, glamour girls on condoms. Yeah. So that, like, an old 50s pin-up... Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Definitely. that men can choose, like, yeah. you know, which girl. girl yeah. Yeah, I yeah think quite that, sexy. That is a good idea. If I was 13, I wouldn't go and buy JLS condoms. No. Never in a million years. I probably no. wouldn't I, even go and buy... Did they, like, have their faces on the end? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> no, I want to be... Oh. Right Ooh, in which for one next are you gonna time. Pick? Right in for next time. We want to see... We want to see a JLS condom. Like Do we, no, we don't want to see a JLS condom, actually. We're nearly out of time, girls. Can you believe that? It's gone so quickly. I have loved having you girls on the show have you enjoyed it yes can we do this again please because yes. <laughs> yes. this has been like my favorite evening <laughs> so who who wants their face on a condom me why don't we get <laughs> thank all you for watching together. lisa women on loaded tv and hopefully we'll see you again soon we're going to carry on talking about condoms